Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an exciting project. I've actually been meaning to do this for a couple of months, but you know, life gets in the way. But today we are finally going to do it. If you are a user of TikTok, you may have seen this, maybe not, but it is people turning luxury shopping bags into actual handbags. It is the coolest thing. I saw this a while ago. I did a little bit of research on it. There's actually a company that sells kits. So I went to look into that, but they were sold out when I looked. I think they're available now, but you only get certain sizes. So me being me, I thought, you know what? I think I could do that myself and I can. So we're going to do that today. I'm gonna to teach you how to do it yourself also to fit whatever bag you have and also for less than half the price of the kit. So if you have any luxury shopping bags, you can turn them into a handbag also. So let's go over the materials we're going to need first. Um, this right here is a clear vinyl. I just got it from Joann's Fabrics. It is six gauge. That I think is the thickness of it, but that's what I got because it says it's easy to cut and sew, which is what I want because I wanna be able to sew this. Um, in addition, you need some scissors. I am not using sewing scissors since it is vinyl. I don't wanna use my good scissors, so I'm just using regular scissors. You need a tape measure, some pins, of course, your shopping bag that you're gonna cover, and then you need some paper and a pen to take your measurements. You also need some sort of um, connector to your purse. Um, I just got these little D-ring things. I'll link what I got below, and then some handles. And I got these clip-on handles. That way I can use these for any purse I want to make. So I only have to purchase one of these handles and I can use it multiple times. In order to figure out how we want to cut this vinyl, like the sizing and stuff, I'm going to show you how I measured my particular bag and then I will share with you the formula I used. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. It feels like it seems complicated, but it's really very easy. So once you get your measurements, it's going to be a very, very easy project. So this is my bag, obviously. This is going to be what we call the length from side to side on the front. This from the bottom to the top is going to be the height of your bag. And this from side to side is going to be your width. So you will want to get those three measurements. So for example, my bag, if I measure my length, it's going to be 12 inches. My height is nine and a half. And then my width is five inches. So you need all three of those measurements. And once you have those three measurements, you'll be able to calculate exactly how you're gonna make this cover. So I'm gonna show you how we do the measurements so you can figure out each piece. You just need to cut five pieces in order to make this bag. It's going to be very easy. So to figure out the measurements that I want to cut, I have to figure out what exactly I want to cover with the material. I want to cover this whole surface area, the inside surface area, and the bottom. Inside the bottom, we're going to end up putting a piece that like stabilizes the bottom and holds the vinyl down in. So the way I did my measurements is I'm going to do height once, height twice, so you have the inside and the outside, and then the bottom for the width once. So, let me take one of the pieces that I cut. I'm just gonna use the tissue to show you. So you'll be covering the outside of the bag, the inside of the bag, and the bottom. This is where your vinyl is going to go, if that makes sense. So, for example, my height was nine and a half inches. So I said, you're gonna do height plus height plus width on this piece, right? So we're gonna go nine and a half inches. That was my height plus nine and a half inches plus my width. And then we're also going to add in one inch for seam allowance because you'll have a seam on this. You will need 
two pieces of height plus height plus width plus one. This will give you one side, like the length of this. So in my example, it's 9.5 plus 9.5 plus five plus one. Remember, my height is 9.5 inches, my width is five, and my length is 12 inches, okay? So this is the length of this piece, and then you have to be able to get the width of this piece that you need, okay? And this is going to be the length plus two because you want an inch seam allowance on each. So for my example, I have a 12 inch long purse or bag. So there's my 12 inches. And then I need an inch on each side for my seams. So for this, I will have my length is 12 plus two. So that is 14 by, that is 19 plus five is 24 plus one is 25. So I need two 25 inches by 14 inch pieces. That's these. That is to cover this, this, and the bottom, okay? Now we need the sides, and we're basically gonna do the same things. Two pieces of your height plus height plus width plus one. Okay, that will be one side by your width plus two. Okay, my height is 9.5 plus 9.5 plus five plus one, five plus two. So this, for the sides of my bags, remember we're doing the sides right now, so you want height doubled, like twice, and then we want some that will tuck under. So we're really going to here on that vinyl piece. Plus sewing room. That's 19 plus five is 24, plus one is 25 by seven inches. So you need two 25 by seven inches in this case. For my last piece, it's going to be the bottom of the bag. So I'm gonna want the length of the bag here the width of the bag here plus one inch on each side for the seam allowances because this is where all the sewing is going to happen here and here just like on the bag everywhere the bag bends that's where you're going to have a seam okay so we need for the bottom of the bag one piece of length plus two by the width plus two inches. So mine is 12 plus two, five plus two. That's 14 inches by seven inches. That is the bottom of the bag. I just need one of those. Again, for my particular bag, I need two pieces of 25 inches by 14 inches, two pieces of 25 inches by seven inches and one piece of 14 inches by seven inches. That's all we need. Seems kind of complicated, but it's actually quite easy once you figure out exactly what you're covering.
our pieces cut, so now we want to pin them together where we want to sew them. I'm going to pin basically the front, back, and sides to the bottom first. Okay guys, I tried to film this tutorial using the actual clear fabric, but the problem is it's clear, so you can't see it in the video footage. So. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use colored fabric just so that you can see it, but it's literally the same thing, just using the clear fabric. So for our tutorial, the blue is going to be the bottom of the bag. This tan color will be the front and the back of the bag, and this uh, white color will be the sides of the bag. So I'm going to show you how to pin it and sew it real fast. We're going to pin all four of these pieces to the bottom. So we're going to attach all these pieces to the bottom first, but we're going to only sew to about an inch away from each edge. So when you're sewing, your seam will go like this. My fabric's not straight, but it'll go like this and you'll stop it, okay? Like that, if that makes sense. So when you pin it, just keep that in mind that you're not going all the way to the edge because you need to be able to lift this up like this for this side. So I'm just gonna do two quick pins right here and see how I've left this open, but I'm gonna go ahead and pin this side as well same thing when I sew it I'm gonna sew from here to here okay and then this will be open this will be open okay Do two pins Now I'm gonna come over here and pin these sides. I have these open here. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna pin this side here the same way. And again, my seam, I don't know why I keep doing that with my pen, will go here to here. My pen's not working here to here is where I will sew. Then this seam should meet in a corner with this seam, okay? So you should have sewn to a corner here with a corner here, if that makes sense. I hope you can see this. I'll show you on the other side since this one's away from the camera. But basically I'm pinning here And then see this will come over here and I'm gonna sew here to here like this and this will be attached right here and this one will be attached right here and that will form your corner, okay? Because eventually these two edges are gonna stand up and get sewn, if that makes sense. So all four edges will be sewn. So that's what you wanna do first. Shouldn't take but a couple of minutes, just a straight stitch. So now that the bottom is sewn, I'm gonna just show it to you like this. You actually want your seams like this. This is going to be the outside of the bag. I know that seems weird, but we're gonna cut this close to the stitch and that's gonna be 
your seam. So you don't have to worry about flipping it inside out or any of that. This is literally how it's going to be. But now that your bottom is sewn, we're gonna go ahead and sew up the top. So now you're gonna be joining the sides and the back and front, but you only wanna sew it up to the height of your bag because you want your seam to stop because these will then go inside the bag like this, okay? So for my height, it's nine and a half inches. So I realize that this little colored template is not looking pretty, but that's because it's just a teaching tool, but I will measure nine and a half inches like that on all of these, okay? And that's as far as I want to sew up on these side seams nine and a half inches on mine so it's just the height of your bag and you should already have that measurement nine and a half inches like that then i will pin these and same thing i will run a straight stitch up these all four sides So that is literally all you have to do to sew the bag. The bag is done with sewing. And I know that that seems crazy because you're going, look at this thing, that doesn't look like anything great, right? Next is gonna be the cutting. And this will not look great on fabric when I do it right now, but it looks really good on the clear bag. And I'll show you that when um, we get to the end of this. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut all of this excess fabric off down towards where you sewn it. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna get within an eighth to a quarter of an inch from my stitch. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the bottom of the bag. Then you are gonna do the same thing up the sides of the bag. Now, you are also going to go ahead and go all the way up, like all the way up, because what you're trying to do is take away some of this excess fabric that's up here. We had allotted a inch for the seam allowance, um, and so you're gonna wanna cut that off even all the way up. If, so I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna do that for all four sides. Once this is all cut, I'll show you how to put the bag together. Okay guys, by now you should have your finished bag. So I'm gonna ask you to set this up with the bottom of the bag on the floor and then put the excess vinyl on the outside of the bag. You'll kind of see as um, I go along here in the video. Then you're gonna cut the handles off of your shopping bag. You don't have to do this, but keep in mind you are gonna be punching holes in it so it's not going to be you know, a whole shopping bag anymore. Either way, it's fine, but I went ahead and did it to mine. 
Now you're gonna set your shopping bag in and then with that excess vinyl, you are going to start tucking that inside the handbag. If you want some extra stability to the bag and also to keep the vinyl down, find yourself some sort of foam core or cardboard or something and cut it to the size of the bottom of the bag and stuff that in there after your vinyl is tucked down. Okay, so these are the D-rings that I ordered. Um, I got two for each side to go with the handles. And basically what I wanna do is just make sure that they're sitting right where I want them and then also the right like the same distance from the sides. And this one's far. Um, then I'm just gonna mark where the screw holes are on here. Yep. And then that way, I know where to punch the holes but I'm also gonna do the same thing on this side. I have this little tool here. It's just a grommet tool or whatever. Um, I'm gonna use this just because it punches a small hole, but you could literally just use an X-Acto knife or scissors or whatever just to cut a hole where the screw will go through the bag. But this just works, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now that my holes are punched, all I have to do is screw these little guys in. that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are here for my next video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.